Hello, and welcome back for part 44 of my Creeping Death Let's Play campaign. Also, Happy Christmas, as I'm not recording this on the 25th, but that's probably when it's going to go live. So previously, we fought off the uh, Stellanders up here at Cragmere, and I was looking at my other siege defense situations. Um, I think I actually want to sally out against Gelt here. And this might sound kind of stupid, but they've got so much artillery um, that holding the walls and trying to defend actually seems like the worst option. Unfortunately, I can't quite bring this army in to support, I don't think. Also, kind of need this army to cover Stone Mine Tower. But looking at the troops here and my garrison, I think we can actually get something to work here. So I've got Black Horror and I've got Dagobos with points in. Yeah, that's going to be good. good. It's not going to give us good odds here, yeah. But a lot of that balance of power is in their artillery. And with us being on the attack, I think I can use some combination of my big boss from the garrison and my great shaman here to waste most of their ammo. We also have quite a few units with Stork. We've got um, three units of Night Gobbo Archers in the garrison, two units of Night Gobbo Melee, then we've got two Nasty Skulkers, and then I've got the Cavalry as well. So I think we can I think we can make this work. Part of the reason I'm trying to fight this is that I don't want to be stuck in a situation where I'm just waiting turn after turn for them to build more siege equipment. The fact that they didn't attack us right away kind of suggests that they did want, you know, at least some siege gear, and I want this army to be free to do other stuff. Clearly this is a bit of a risk. If they just push towards us at the beginning of the battle and use their artillery to um, rain down on our, our infantry, then this is going to be a problem. But, like I say, I think I can avoid that. Alright, they have deployed aggressively. That's interesting. We also have the option of using the Vanguard deployment. Um, no, I don't think I want to do that. So looking at this, I mean, they've deployed in kind of the way you'd expect. They've got great cannons here. They've got rocket battery and mortars at the back. Yeah, okay. And they can fire pretty far into our deployment zone, but not all the way to the back. Yeah, that's good. So we can actually hide most of our army down here, where our reinforcements are coming from. I think that's going to be smart to do. Oh nice, this guy actually has a reusable damage resistance item as well. That'll be good. I really would prefer to have the big boss from the garrison as the guy, like, face tanking Hellstorm rocket battery shots, but he does not start on the battlefield, so I'll have to wait on that. Actually, why were the Demigriff Knights here? Yes, okay. I think we can deploy in these woods. What's the speed on the Demigriff Knights? 75. Yeah, they're faster than the um, like heavily armored Empire Knights or Reich's Guard, but they're not that fast. Okay, so at the beginning of the battle... Alright, I need you to... I definitely think I can make something happen with my nasty Skulkers here. But at the start of the battle, I basically want them to be able to start shooting my Great Shaman with their artillery. And we'll just have to see if they rush towards us or not. If they rush towards us, this could, this could get very dodgy. But I quite like our position here with, with like, the ridge of this hill to at least partly cover us from missile fire. Yeah, got a decent amount of magic too. I mean, they have Gelt. Now, I should have checked this, but what spells does Gelt have? He's on, he's on horseback. He's not on his Pegasus yet. That's good. Um... He's got the Staff of Volans, yeah. Plague of Rust, that's fine. Searing Doom and Golden Hounds. Okay, so lots of anti-infantry spells. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Um, I think the priority, though, is still trying to waste the ammo as much as we possibly can on their artillery. So, let's start the battle and see what happens. Mm, looks like they maybe are running in towards us. It also looks like they are firing off their artillery. No, maybe not. They're just sort of repositioning around. Okay, that's good. 
You guys come up to the front here. Alright, let's get that missile resistance or damage resistance buffed down. Get our garrison troops into position as well. And you two stand over here. Yeah, we need to make sure we need to make sure that nobody here is advancing too far. Uh, it's a bit at the edge of that range, but I don't think they can see us still. So it looks okay. Yeah, I need to be doing a bit more jinking left and right with my great shaman here. I mean, you can see that the mortars. He's really not taking very much damage, which is why this works so well. Oh, hold on. Yeah, wait a second. What have they seen? Ah, they've seen these units. Okay. Could be a bit problematic. Yeah, sometimes the AI does um, does sort of get activated in these situations when they can see a couple of your units. So let's just... I don't think they can see... I don't think they can see my other guys. Oh, this is going to be a problem, though. Yeah, we need to run around them with our spider riders. We can definitely. Yeah, I don't want you getting. Particularly want you getting shot by handgunners there. Uh, yes, those units getting hit by the Hellstorm rocket battery is also kind of bad. Okay, well, can't say this plan exactly worked, but these units are expendable. Demi Griffinites here can't really chase after all of our units. We are getting kind of a good wrap around on them here. We've got the rest of our army in position. Yeah, th this is okay, I think. We've split them up nicely. Oh, we're going to take a ton of damage. Mm. We're going to take a ton of damage on our... Um, on our spider riders here, but I think we've got their artillery pretty well trapped. I think, yeah, that said though, this is the time to advance with all my other units. Yeah, the spotted the nasty skulker is kind of too late. Oh, there's mortars over there, hold on. Where are they? Oh, they're right, no, right, that's the... Yeah. The, uh, sorry, war wagons with mortars. Okay. Th this is looking okay, though. Um, we're, we're wrecking their units here. We've stopped them from shooting. You just charge into the back of these guys. And we're, we're kiting their Demogriff Knights around really well. Okay. We need to stop. We need to stop these units shooting. Uh, great Shaman's in melee. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I see what happened here. Right. Archers, I think I want you to stop. Stand by your own shoot. Same with the missile units in the garrison. Right. Spells from Geld. Yeah, not great for us, but can't do anything about it. I mean, we're, we're going to struggle to break them in melee here as well, but we've got such overwhelming numbers. Um, I think we can probably do it. Okay, nice. The Demigrifite Knights completely messed this up. We've caught all their artillery in combat and we are beating them. Right, a lot of their missile units here are on the run. We need to get after them. Yeah, we're still getting shelled a bit, that's not ideal. Okay, you guys get over here. Go after him. How are we doing in the center? Um, looks okay. Some very high rank infantry units that we have to fight our way through, obviously. Wow, that's great. Got to get on top of these units. Yeah, Gelt's still casting spells at us. I don't think we can do anything about that. Oh, this has gone so well. This damage of knights are just out of the battle. It's really perfect. Okay, they have got... What have they got over here? Great swords. Ah, nuts. Okay. Um, we might have to just throw all of our units in the area into these great swords. We can get the debuff down from the Nasty Skulkers. Check on my my lord. Yeah, he's still doing fine. I want to get this Antipol's Black Horror down. Um, 
so I need to get a buff from these guys who are fighting the belt in melee. Yeah, that, that completely wrecked us, unfortunately. And there's still... Wait, these guys have come back and started firing again. And that's kind of disastrous. They don't have too much ammo, though, yet. Yeah, we haven't taken too many casualties. We need to get these archers forwards. Yeah, we've done alright here. We've sort of broken them. Broken that guy. Yeah, Gelt's having issues with leadership as well. And the spell's going to do so much damage to us. We can't really help it, though. Yeah, he goes rallied. That's good. Demigriff Knights have given up trying to hunt spider riders. Yeah, fair enough. But I think they're sort of... The damage is done essentially. Go for those hand gunners. Right. Yeah, we're going to be able to deal with those Demogriff Knights now. And over here, we have. No, no we haven't broken those great swords. Yeah, great swords have a lot of experience. It's a bit of a problem. Have we broken guilt? Yes, we have. Fantastic. Okay. Let's try and push up. Make sure we get the rubber units broken. Yeah, th this is kind of how I envisage the battle going. Um, okay, stop and shoot those spearmen. We were able to largely nullify... Nice. Oh, that should win it. Yeah, we were able to largely nullify the enemy um, enemy artillery. It did damage to us, but nowhere near as much as it might have. Could have possibly done a bit better taking the damage on the... Uh, the garrison ahead of our, our main troops, but that, that's okay. Now let's see, are we going to be able to finish off these Demigriff Knights? Yes, I think so. Good. Alright, we've got lots of fast units, let's make sure everything's getting run down here. Um, yeah, okay, I'm not I'm not thrilled by the idea of trying to run, run, run down the war wagons, that doesn't tend to work very well, but it's okay. Actually, our two, um, our two non-garrison Spider Rider units survived with a lot more health, that's excellent. And let's kill all the artillery we can. Now oh, that guy's dead. Oh, they're, they're also just done. Yeah, it's kind of the war wagons and maybe a few bits and pieces of other stuff that's getting away, but not too much. Yeah, not many Demogriff Knights. Guess we're not going to be able to catch them. I never got this down. It's okay though. There wasn't really, really like a big line of massed up infantry where it's going to do the damage. I'm very happy with the nasty skulkers there. Um, coordinated the nasty skulkers and the spider riders reasonably well in the end. A lot of damage on these troops here. That, that's okay though. I didn't have units wiped out. Um, and we'll be able to follow up and wipe this army out and then be ready to fight, say, Belagar or even go to try and relieve the siege at Matorka and kill the Bretonians. Yeah, this is the problem with the war wagons. We don't actually kill any of the entities in the unit, which means they come back to full health in the next battle. Oh well, we, we've done well enough. Yeah, post victory, that's fine. Yes, this is the key thing. All their artillery, all the static artillery taken out. Yeah, they didn't get away with very much. 433 kills on Gelt though, jeez. Yeah. Uh, right, that we couldn't have easily prevented, I think. Right, so nice drink of gold again for sure. Do we want an extra 1650 or 4% replenishment? I'm just going to err on the side of taking the replenishment, um, given we know there's a bunch of other armies to fight in the near future. Plus 6 armor for all units from defeating Gelt, that's great. Squig mascot, yep, yeah, that can go on somebody. Yeah, so as it stands right now, we're healing most of this damage. And we know... Right, we know Belagar is in Karak and Gazar. Motorka may still fall, and I'm, I'm willing to accept that, but I think I've... I've hopefully protected the major settlements at least. Yeah, definitely max out to Gobbos. You've already got a Squig mascot, yeah. So let's follow up and kill the rest of the army. Oh yes, they've hardly got anything left. Um, we'll have to fight this manually though, It's the balance of power is obviously looking at their mortars and wanting to do a bunch of damage to our infantry, which we need to prevent again. Yeah. 
I think I could have gotten the whole sort of like wasting the ammo strategy to work better if I'd had some units that were of my army that the enemy could see, but would just back out of range. I'm not sure. Maybe I could have done that on the top of the hill. I think the reason the enemy army came towards us is because they couldn't really see much of us. But it worked out fine. Oh, speaking of working out fine... Okay, I think I know what I can do here. I think this time I can deploy, deploy it aggressively. Um, with all my archers like this. Get on them right away. Get the nasty skulkers in right away. Because I've got very few melee troops. I've got seven demigriff knights. Yeah, we can deploy the spiders to deal with them too. Yeah, we'll give our melee boys a rest. Um, take a bit of damage from the mortars on the uh, on the archers, but that's acceptable. Yeah, we we don't want to take more damage on these troops because they're already not quite healing in a in a turn. So I think what I'm saying here does make sense. Um, right, and the most important thing at the start of the battle is just to advance the archers. So let's make sure I'm doing that. You grab the Demogriff Knights, you get in here. Yeah, we're gonna get shot, that's fine. You get up here too. Okay. Now stop and... So half of you focus down those war wagons, half of you focus down. Oh, got that wrong. It's okay though. Come in this way. Yeah, Demogriff Knights are getting wrecked. You can go straight for these. Yeah, you can go straight for these units. The concentrated armor-piercing missile fire does kill the war wagons reasonably quickly. It's tr it's trying to kill them in melee. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, we took a lot of damage here on this unit. Uh, it looks like we're okay though. Yeah, we, we managed to do what I wanted. Demogriff knights kind of just not achieving much. Oh, do we nuts? We didn't catch that unit in the AOE. Slow. That's too bad. Could have also done with not having a. Not just here in combat with the damage of knights. We're not going to take too much more damage from them, though. How about here? Can we use this? Yes. Perfect. Get them. Alright. Yeah. Sadly, the mortars are going to be able to turn around and, and shoot at us. I keep selecting the wrong half of the units. You lot over here. You lot over this way. Demogriff knights are broken. Yeah, good. Not sure these. Yeah, we war wagons are going to do a bit more damage to our guys here, but that's that's fine. Um, what are these units we're in combat with? Huntsmen? Yeah. Okay, I think we should be okay against them. It's a bit rough. What are they shelling here? I'm going for the spider riders. All right. I suppose they do have a minimum. No, the minimum range is there. I think they'd be better shooting the archers, but they sort of missed the chance to do that. Yeah, those those the losses. Okay. Good enough. Right. Yeah, the, the units all get wiped out this time. And we're running most of them down anyway. Yeah. Okay. I think this Gobble Archer came in a bit damaged. Aside from that, all these others should replenish in one turn. Yeah, we just have to decide what exactly to do here. Yeah, that's not much loot. Let's take an extra 2% replenishment. And that army's gone, right. Scarecrow Banner. Uh, slightly useful against Pegasus Knights, I guess, maybe. So I've got some options here. I can come back to Barak Var. If I go into Encamp Stance, yeah, that increases my replenishment by a lot. Okay. How about... Yeah, so I imagine... I imagine here that... Um, Belgar's going to move out, and probably he'll have recruited more troops here. Right now he's got 14 or 15 units. I know he doesn't have artillery. His units, his army's still quite powerful, but if I stand here... 
just at the edge of the barrack var reinforcement range. Going to encamp stance. Yeah, I don't think Belgar can reach here. He could use the underway and head over this way, but that's... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to just react to that if he does. I'm getting the most replenishment I can, which is great. Uh, this lord is tough. Okay, what did I get in terms of rolling I'm special. another lord uh, trait here? I got Bragger. Okay. Yep, don't think we need him. Fine. Now, this situation with Stonemine Tower. Yeah, so what I want to do here, I think, is move to... Let's see. Stonemine Tower is in this region, or this... Um, yeah, province. Okay. I think I want to move to here, stay in Dot Karaz, and recruit. Basically recruit the rest of this stack. It's a bit awkward that I've got a bunch of spider riders thinking I'd be using them against Geltz artillery. But I imagine it should still be fine against what this guy has. I'm thinking he's going to come land here. He's not going to be able to... I don't think he's going to have enough movement to immediately attack us. Oh, but maybe... Hmm. If he does, I should force march. I don't think so. I think it'll take too much of his movement to get ashore. It's always a little hard to tell on these. Right. Let's cancel... Yeah, let's hedge again. Cancel this construction. There'd be... You know, I want these upgrades, but we don't need them immediately. Uh, hold on, no. Probably just go for maximizing... Oh, I got two levels up. Yeah, let's just go for this. Wait, wait, wait. No, I am gonna recruit. Yeah, I am gonna recruit more... Okay. I am gonna recruit more, more melee gobbos here. So yeah, let's go that and that. Um... I'm assuming that the army is going to be melee heavy and mostly goblins, similar to the army that Wazag has. Spider Rider, uh, the Forest Goblin Spider Rider melee guys are actually okay against light infantry. What else do I want here though? I don't need more cavalry. Um, I can recruit four more units. How do I feel about nasty skulkers? They've got armor piercing, but they don't have bonus versus infantry. No, I think I'll just go for... I think I'll just go for more, more gobbers. Yeah. We don't need to spend scrap yet, we're not going to be fighting over the end turn. Um... But we should be in position to, to come hold this. I'm not... I mean, there's maybe some chance that the 13-unit garrison can beat this army. I, I wouldn't have thought so, though, without the walls. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay, I also realized... Yeah, I left this battle, this situation unresolved or unfinished. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Alright, we have a solid advantage. But, again, their artillery is meaning... Order resolve is not going to be good for us here. We did pick up Lava Ragnarok, that'll be excellent. In fact, I probably want the Lava Ragnarok to be tanking mortar shots. They have no melee infantry. They've got the war wagons, yeah. So Bugra we need to watch out for here. He can heal a 1400 health of his healing potion or whatever it is, 15, yeah, 1584. We have the option also of using the Vanguard deployment to start on top of the enemy. I think though they'll deploy more defensively than Gelt's army did, just because we outpower them by by more. Maybe not. No, they didn't. Interesting. Okay. Uh. So what do we think? Deploy on top of them? Yeah, I think deploy on top of them. They've got no cavalry as well, which which kind of helps. My 
Yeah, so Burgrip has to start at the back here because he doesn't have Vanguard deployment. Which actually works out just fine. So, again, selecting all my units here and advancing. Need to advance a bit further. Yeah, that's going to be good. You can go, and go for the Huntsman. You come over here, chug that healing potion. You can come in. Yeah. The goal is just to stop enemy units shooting here. Alright, someone shot. Stop and just shoot that guy out of the air. Alright, keep going, guys. Keep going. Actually, we don't need to really... We can ignore the general on the Pegasus. He's not going to do enough to us. We need to just follow up and make sure we're catching these units. Yeah, th this is going fine, though. Yeah, Lord's wounded. Good. Bugwood just trampled over him. Hit those units. Yeah, we hit those units with a slow spell. And sure enough, we're catching them. That's the idea, after all. Looks like the spiders, the big spiders, are going to get into combat. Yeah, these units just get instantly shredded by the archers. Nice. Get the melee debuff on there, maybe. Yeah, handgun is wavering. We're just going to be left chasing after the war wagons again. Usual story. Lord's under attack. Yeah, that's fine. It's crossbow, we're going to get wrecked. Yeah, this went this went well. I'm not going to use the spider AOE ability with all my own units around here. Yeah, just continue running them down. A oh. bunch of melee units just sort of stopped stopped chasing here. Come on, get over there. Yeah, yeah, we've got this no problem. Just shoot this or something. Yeah, the main thing I'm seeing is that I did take a little damage on the spider riders. However, overall, I'm very happy with the amount of damage we took. Alright, I think that's their Witch Hunter. Is their last unit that hasn't broken, or pretty much. Well, this is not the witch you signed up for, my friend. <laughs> Come on, let's get him. Oh, those units rallied. Okay. I'm assuming this is going fine. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage, it's okay though. I wanna see this I wanna see our new spider squish this dude. It's like we're mainly you might even just kill him with the fire fire arrows being shot off the back of the howder. Alright, those huntsmen are doomed. Smack. Yeah, now he's broken, okay. He's had enough. And that looks like the other losses. Eh, not quite still. Alright. Come on, guys. Nah, we're not going to catch him with that. Oh well. He looks cool, at least. There he goes. Who's still fighting? Wait. Oh no, okay. So... Yeah, there's war wagons that we're not really going to catch. Oh, perhaps we'll rule with this. It doesn't matter too much though, they're getting all wiped out. Yeah. So now I think I will... I think I'll back off to Drakenhof. Well, well, we'll check in a minute. This damage is healable in one turn, or maybe not quite with the Drakenhof, just given how much corruption's in Drakenhof and the fact that it's only orange climate for us, but Bogrub will get a big heal, because the Lord Replenishment rate's faster than normal troops. So yeah, I think standing in Drakenhof probably makes sense. Um, I think we're doing okay on gold, let's just go for the replenishment again. Hmm. 
Right. So we could push on towards Schwarzhafen. We don't reach it this turn, though. Yeah, that's problematic. We know they have more troops there. They can't get to Kragmere in a single turn either. Um, Kragmere, I'm not, I'm not particularly concerned about. I repaired this building, but I mostly attacked it just to make sure that there weren't going to be Skaven pouring out of it right away. So yeah, let's head to Drakenhof. Okay, that replenishment's fine. Yeah, very nice. And the big lads, yep. Yeah, we're not seeing any military presence here in Tempelhof or the north of the, um, the Drakenhof province. I think we really caught Manford just way out of position. As I was saying before, he's off campaigning up in Sylvania. Uh, excuse me, up in Kislev. So... Yeah, I think our smash and grab at Drakenhof has really worked out very well. Now, what to do with Scarfag? Depends a bit how strong I think these guys are. So, Nashrex Lair. Who's this? Who's got a war going over here? I don't think it's these guys, because the stack they threw down at Mount Gumbad did not have war troops. Hmm, interesting. That seep gore that's held by Red Eye. If this is bad news, maybe there isn't a way to see. Eyes. Okay, I can see. Seep gore goes all the way north up to here. These guys are a minor greenskin faction. We're the only minor greenskin faction allowed to declare a war. So I don't know what that green like. This this is the symbol for a war target, right? But I don't know what that means. It could be a bug, or it could be... I was trying to see, actually, if Azag the Slaughterer... Yeah, maybe Azag the Slaughterer's... Um, what are they called? Skull... Yeah, I forget the name of his... His greenskin tribe, but the... Bone Rattlers? Anyway, yeah, I think they start up here, and it looks like they could still be here, so that could be their war target. Anyway, the main point is, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing troops down here out of these guys. So, Mount Gunbeth's pretty well defended. Squighorn's pretty well defended. I can raise armies quickly over here if I need to, if the Skaven come and attack us. Um, I think I'm going to have Scarfag come to Zuthbar with a plan to um, at least give me the option to like push more into the into like Sylvania, the southeast of the Empire. Can you get to Zuthbar? Uh, I can force much to Zephyr, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And Public Order is picking up in Drakenhof. Yeah. That helps things here as well, excellent. Okay. Alright, oh, Gogrip picked up a picked up a rank up. We took a bit of damage for sure beating the Sylvanians. Um or the the uh, Sartosans. I don't know that we can beat this, but we do want the walls to help. We're not going to be sallying out. And we do get up to Itchy Nuisance. That's pretty big. I mean, 22 second duration, minus melee attack and minus base weapon damage. Like, the whole of this army attacking us are just melee, melee dudes. So we can probably make use of that spell. It's just too bad we can't do anything else or get replenishment on the troops or anything. Okay, we've got other stuff to move here. The turn's gone very well so far, though. I think I need to move Musk. Yes. Okay, and what's Musk doing? Yeah, let's look at this. Um, we know the Lizardmen eventually are going to be the big threat out of the south. Right this second... I think they're kind of occupied doing other stuff. Let's have you... I want you to come to... Dringo Rakaz. I'm no longer really concerned about what military strength the, these dwarves have. Oh, here's Krokgar himself. Okay. So Krokgar took Dringo Rakaz, but apparently it was him and three Pterodon riders that survived the battle. That's interesting. This army might not even... Yeah, this army might not even be be wanting to keeping keeping on attacking. That said, I do want to keep blocking them, and I did this turn, right? Where are we here? 
Uh, hero, no. It's not versus settlements. Maybe it's just under world events? Yes, Black Army success, great, okay. So I think I either go north, I can either go north or south with Musk. Um, yeah, we've lost our war troops, but Musk's stack here is still strong. Because obviously we're doing a lot of fighting. I mean that makes sense. We're 77 turns into the campaign. It doesn't look like Karakazul has recruited any, got any lords in those two settlements. I mean it doesn't matter even if they they would. Yeah, we're going to be on top of them. But where am I going afterwards is the question. I'd much rather. I'd rather not really get into a big war with the Lisbon right now, and I'm I'm willing to concede a bit of territory if they want to come for it. I feel like a lot of the Lisbon territories down here though, I think they're going to be maybe fighting the top knots here and going after Grimgore here. We'll see though. Of course the AI loves to just kind of go for the player when it gets the chance. So I think I'm going to leave the hero down here to scout and have Musk head north to Black Iron Mine. Bring the bad moon. Oh, and there is a lord here recruiting. Oh, right, it's because one unit split across the two settlements they still have doesn't count, doesn't show up as one point of, of military presence. But I essentially went the right way. We wanted to go kind of the direction of whichever way they were recruiting, which is here. So, so nice, that worked out. Yeah, I have a decision to make here. I mean, the problem is just how expensive these um, spiders are going to be. I don't have to make a decision right now though um, about cancelling the recruitment and getting the refund. I kind of need quantity over quality in just because of how much territory I have to cover. So if I was going to keep even this number of spiders around, I'd have to disband at least one of my stacks. Um, which I don't think I can do. So am I sure I'm going to be cancelling the recruitment of the spiders next turn? I say cancelling because we've kind of taken out... We've taken out the main threat here. I think we've got enough to be able to relieve the siege here. Not in this world or oh, the maybe other. not. Hmm. The tribe's ready! Spiders can't, yeah. The other thing, of course, is it's two turns plus a couple of turns to move over. All right, well. I will eventually recruit Arachnox spiders in this campaign. <laughs> just, it just doesn't quite work. Alright, so I'm using I'm using local and lo local and global recruitment here. Yeah. So the garrison at Matorka is at full health. We'll be 90 plus percent full next turn. Let's look at these Batonian armies more carefully. There's a lot of cavalry, yeah, that's a bit of a problem in a pitch battle. There's not too much else though. But the cavalry, yeah. Well, I mean, kind of classic Bretonian army, I guess. It is forbidden. It's how many units in total? 23, okay. Of course, if they launch the assault over the end turn, then this, the decisions kind of change. The question is whether this stack of return of replenishment plus the garrison can beat these two I armies. Alright, let, let's just let's think about that next turn. I can't do more recruitment out of this um, this region anyway, so yeah, because I need this stack to be strong enough to fight Scabby Eye coming in. Alright, I don't think I want to do more recruitment um, army-wise. Yeah, 
yeah, let's let's look at building stuff. So, yeah, Barrack Var is pretty safe now. So let's get these buildings going again. Franka Hills, same for you. Um, Stone Mine Tower, yeah, I cancelled those buildings. I think that's safe. Let's just deal with this lot first. Myrmidons, yeah, we know what's happening over there. You get this in one turn, that's nice. Yeah, plus five leadership globally. Crackers all, we've got a free building slot here, which I think wants to be growth. Yep. We'll get this defenses up before the Lizardmen are on top of us, at least by the looks of it, so that's good. And yep, nothing to do here. Valley of Sorrow sort of just being abandoned. Um, yeah, everything's fine there as well. Let's do this. Krasakrak has a spare building slot still. Yeah, that's fine. We'll stick, stick something there later. Same at Drakenhof. Forest of Gloom checking away at tier 4 there. That's good. Yeah, Morkheim. I don't know. If we have to, if we lose it and have to retake it, that's okay. We've just got a bit too much else going on. All right, that's everything. Nice. So we have, we, we kind of made a net gold gain there. I think I can sustain this number of armies financially, and we're working our way towards yet another war, which is also awesome. Starting a war when you have like six or seven full stacks is so strong. And we were not in that position at the start of the last war. I think I had three armies, like three stacks. And how many have I got now? Seven, yeah. Well, one of them is this, which is only 12 units, but still. All right, anything else to do this turn? I didn't finish any of those tier four buildings constructed. Let's check this. No, I'm not getting, I haven't got any, any of these tier four um, buildings to open up more slots for the Big boss heroes. It's just Black Crag. Oh, nice. I get one in Akendorf next turn. That's awesome. Another big boss in this area is exactly what I need. Because I know this Skaven happens for Rack. There could be more enemy troops coming through here. Yeah. All right. That's good. Just look at this for a second. Am I taxing everywhere? Yes. And the places where public order is going down, that's fine. 14, minus 14, minus 8. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, don't care about this. Yeah, public order is absolutely fine. Great. Let's go to the next turn. Um, I have a couple of Spider Rider units in my other armies I haven't upgraded yet. I keep holding off on that, but let's just get it done. So, scrap saddles, speed and armor, yeah. And these guys, same thing. And we still have plenty of scrap for upgrading the new army we have to try and defend um, Stone Mine Tower. Yeah. Right. I don't have the upgrades yet for the Arachnoic Spiders. How are we doing on that? We've got Lord Recruit Rank as the next tech. Yeah, that'll be great. We can almost recruit a Lord with Lightning Strike off the bat, which is so nice. Yeah, you guys have the upgrades. Ah, this one's missing the upgrades. There we go. Okay, yeah. Couple of dodgy siege battles potentially over the end turn, but I think I've done all I can. Last quick check on diplomacy here. Yeah, we're good. War declared. Order of Lawmasters and the Dreadfleet. Didn't even realize I was in contact with either of those, but fair enough. Krokgar's not waiting to recruit more troops. He's just out here with his three pterodons. I admire... I admire a... Legendary Lord willing to YOLO a little bit. What are you up to? Nothing good. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> It wasn't enough that we had to fight off, fight off three armies attacking Myrmidons. We have to fight off a fourth. Oh, hold on. This does not look good. No, it's okay. They brought in a third army but didn't launch the assault. And the third army looks like it's just one damsel 
or maybe with one other unit. Ah, yeah, see, Krokgar, that's that's why you don't yolo it around with three pterodons, because the Skaven will get you. Well, better you than me. Yeah, you're not going to assassinate. Uh, I guess this is our lower rank dude, but still. I just saw some movement there. Oh, interesting. It's very rare you see this. Um, the AI actually cancelling the siege. So I think Wurzag saw what was going to happen, which is we were going to be able to come attack the siege. And he's actually attacked us in the field. Yeah, I really didn't expect him to do that. Um, we should be fine here. I much prefer our army composition. We have more experience. We are on Force March, though, which is a big problem. And Wurzag, of course, is going to be a nuisance as well. But... Yep, no choice but to stand and fight. One thing in our favor is that, like, they do not have anything that can beat the Arachnok Queen or even Arachnok and his um, Arachnok Spider. Like, these guys don't actually have a bonus versus large. The melee goblins, even though they have spears, it's one of the things that's kind of annoying about them. Yeah, you can see here, weapon strength. They've just got base weapon damage and armor piercing. So the big spooders are going to be massive for us in this one, I would think. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I'm going to deploy... I want a really compact deployment to be able to just go against half the enemy army at once. We're also going to take advantage of Vanguard deployment. So I think I'm going to do it like this. And we have got no faster units except that one unit of trolls. Um, I think we'll have all of our fast units on this flank. I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about the flank over here. Um, let's maybe have this unit a bit of a wider deployment just in case. And actually, spread out a little more in this direction too. Yeah, focus missile fire will route their units very quickly. It's just that they have a lot of units, so I need to make sure they don't get to get too many of them on top of us at once. Yeah. So this is sort of what I was expecting. And the trolls are over here. Yeah, that's fine. And what do we have here again? We've got leadership boost, we've got temporary melee bo boost, kind of command. Yeah, all good stuff. It's actually on the enemy to come towards us here. But... Yeah, with that in mind, just hold back a second. Hold back a second and just deploy like this. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of an issue with being flanked on that side, eh? Uh, mm. Yeah, you guys need to be a bit of a broader formation. I'm not, again, I'm not too concerned by their masses of, of melee gobos coming in towards us here. Get some magic going. Wurzak's back that way. Go hunt Wurzak down. That seems smart. Oh, there's these stone trolls though. Okay, we need to do some spider spawning. Oh, and that unit's gonna need leadership help right away. Uh, yeah, this flank is a bit dodgy, isn't it? Hmm. The situation's not fantastic either. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage on the unit right here. Whereas I've just nuked his own unit with magic, that's good. Alright, we are being outflanked though. Yeah, we have to deal with these trolls. You in combat here, that's fine. Bug groups, yeah, it's like I was saying, they just can't do much damage to our, our big spiders. We're not doing great in other fights though, are we? Yeah, the trolls here are going to be a problem. Don't have command or command up. Yeah, I think this unit routes. Yeah, it does. Okay, get over here. Bug ribs. Yeah, bug ribs just tanking the whole army. Stone trolls are disengaging. Alright, that's good for us. Oh, we've got a what? I don't want to use that. Yeah, this is going fine, kind of like I expected. We're under a bit too much pressure on this flank. Let's focus fire on this unit. I think we are holding them off though. Boy, this is a tough fight. 
One nice thing here, we do get replenishment, assuming we win this. I mean, Bug is struggling a bit with leadership. Okay. That's awkward. That helps. We've not done well at bringing down those stone trolls. They are strong. Rallying. Can do too much. Yeah. Break the units here. Good. Uh, yeah, I think we're turning that around. I've not managed to take out Wurzag, that's a problem. Yeah, he's blasting where it is. I think we should just go into melee with these guys. Struggling way more than I expected leadership-wise on, on Ratnik. I think I'm just going to burn the Crown of Commander myself. At least, though... We are kind of just creating a big pile of gobos to blast into with magic and stuff. So there's that. Over on this flank. Okay. We broke one of their units, but we need to deal with the next one. Yeah, we're, we're taking a lot of damage on this side, actually. Nuts. Alright, but we've got them... We've got them here. Alright, you guys just got smashed by that spell. I think we need to just focus fire on this flank. Right now it's doing okay. Not wonderful. These trolls will rout. A bit more spiderlings? We do. We've almost broken the trolls. They're gonna get this charge off though. No, they're not. Excellent. Okay. We've got the wire again. Um, how are things going here? Yeah, not great. We've had our melee line completely breached, but. Our focus missile fire is breaking these units. Actually, no, we need to keep shooting over here. We need to shoot their archers too at some point. Wurzag. Nope, still can't see Wurzag. Just leave that for now. We've routed all the, all the stuff on this flank. Excellent. Okay, that must be close to getting the army losses. We've held off their attack though. We took a lot of damage in the process. There's Wurzag. Well, Wurzag's not the best melee fighter. The problem is if we clump up on him, he'll just blast us with the magic. Hopefully we can catch him though and not have to fight him again. Yeah, the Ragnarok, oh, yeah, the Ragnarok Queen did, did a good job over here. Oh, that was a rough one. Are we even one yet? We have. Okay. Okay. We want to run down everything we can. This will look a lot better after a turn's worth of replenishment. And we came close, but we didn't quite get any units wiped out. So all these things are positive. Yeah, took a lot of damage on the Spider Rider Archers too. Wurzag. Is Wurzag going to get wounded? Where are you, Wurzag? Mm, nope, he got away. Nuts. Well, maybe he got away, maybe he didn't. Okay, I'm happy with this. I mean, we resolved the siege uh, situation. I thought I'd have to spend my next turn heading up to Ekrand, which I don't. I think this army can now head west towards the last um, Scabii settlement. Considering they're down to one settlement, they've done very well at churning out these armies. Although, yeah, we went up against a strong army here, to be honest. Did we kill all the stone trolls? Just trying to think of dangerous units they had. Now nah, we, we killed enough of their stuff. I think at the end of the battle I'm going to find that their archers did a lot of damage to me. Even though they didn't have too many units of them. Because it was a long period where they were able to just free fire away. Okay, that unit's gone. Pretty much. It does make quite a difference, like, Raknik is my third strongest general, but there's quite a difference between him and Bogrub because of Bogrub having all the, the good magic. Like, the melee debuff would have completely swung the tight battles in the center and the right. Um, that minus 24 melee attack would just have completely crippled the enemy gobber units. That's okay though, you can only rank up characters so quickly. Yeah, close victory, we take that. Wurzag gets away, alright. Yeah. As I say, I really didn't expect the AI to cancel the siege and come attack. I've got to watch out for that in the future.
Yeah, so we are getting replenishment as I mentioned. Let's take the replenishment here as well. We need to fight and wipe this army out next turn. He's he's really stuck though. Yeah. Now, where are you coming in? You're still on Force March. Interesting. Okay. Ah, here come the top nuts. Yep. That's fine. They didn't even besiege this turn. And we've got a choice between War Fervor and Recruiting Surplus. Yeah, the recruitment cost is really not a big expenditure. Let's just go for the leadership. And Warboss defeated. Yeah. No confederating. Ah, that's Grimgore, is it? No, Grimgore... Grimgore's raiding us, we can't see him yet. Okay, so it looks like Morkheim... Yeah, we're not going to be able to hold on to Morkheim, that's fine. At the time I took it, I was partly attacking it also to wipe out the army Grimgore had there. So let's look at this. Yeah, I was very smart to stay on the right side of this border. Like, look how much replenishment we got. I mean, between the eating the captives after the battle and the replenishment here, these units were down at like 19 gobos, and they've regained, you know, 60, 70. Right, the Bretonians didn't launch this attack. Yeah, okay. Um, this army... We can just straight up come attack them while they're in Force March. That looks attractive. Military Presence 7, so it looks like 14, 15 units with Belagar still in Karak Angazar. And we have the opportunity here to break this siege. Okay. And yeah, it's like an Enchantress plus one other unit here. Not, Hopefully not too scary. I feel like I saw another... I feel like I saw someone using the Underway during that turn. Yeah, 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 here we go. These guys. Yeah, I was wondering when this... Um, where this tribe of Savage Orcs was hiding and when they were going to show up. I mean, the good thing is that it is just completely mono Savage Orcs. They don't have any Savage Orc biggins. They don't have too much experience. Sadly, of course, I can't block both these armies, so they are going to be able to take this if they want, but I'm fine with that. Um, yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Well, that's going to do it for this part. Next time, we've got a lot of fighting to do, of course, but we're we're holding onto our territory. We're actually not too far off another war. We've got, like, I don't know, three, four battles to be fighting this turn, clearing up more bad guys and uh, making gold and so on. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll be back with the next part.